one practice that we often don't take the time to do is to clean up our pruners after we use them. Well, in this case, it's very, very important that we not only clean them, but we sterilize them because we can spread the disease that has affected our pear tree here. Now, many of you are going to see some different limbs dying out on pears and apple trees over the next few weeks, and some of you may have even seen it for over a couple of weeks. And the symptoms will look just like this, where you'll get ends of branches, or in this case, the entire branch will die, and it looks like someone has burned it or scorched it, and the disease is called fire blight. Now, one thing you need to remember is it's a bacteria and not a fungus like a lot of the other diseases that we talk about. And because it's a bacteria, it spreads throughout it a little bit quicker. And if we make cuts to prune it out, we can actually spread that bacteria to healthy tissue and we can infect essentially the entire orchard. So this time of year when you see this, you need to start pruning it out. Now in our particular case, you can see the discoloration where it's killed it right back to the main trunk. So we'll cut that out. And after each cut, you need to either wipe off the pruners with rubbing alcohol or use a Clorox or a Purex bleach to disinfect them. Because again, if you make another cut, say if we're cutting off the suckers here and we don't clean it up ahead of time, we will reinfect that area and cause the bacteria to spread. Now in many of your trees, it may just be part way on a branch, and in that case, you would prune back say three, four inches below the area that you see the discoloration. And again, most of ours have died right back up to the main trunk, so we'll be cutting those out completely. Now, if you're trying to prevent it for next year, which obviously it's already affected the trees, then you would try to purchase a streptomycin type product like AgriStrep, which is a bactericide that will control it, or you can use products like Coside or basic copper sulfate, and you start spraying right as the blossoms start to open before the leaves unfurl, and that way you'll prevent the bacteria from coming in and affecting it. So as a reminder, this time of year, all you can do is prune out the infected areas, and don't forget the importance of sterilizing these pruners.